Hello, in this video we shall discuss about a .NET internal topic, heap fragmentation chances occurring on .NET heaps due to object pinning. We shall also do a live debugging demo to show this scenario is happening on a .NET application. But before diving into this, first we shall briefly explain our previously discussed topics like fragmentation. Previously, we discussed about the fragmentation chances occurring on large object heap regions. This is because objects on these regions have fixed addresses in nature. So, once GC picks the unreferred object from LOH, free spaces can occur, but the remaining object cannot readjust to these free spaces because they are having fixed addresses. This can cause heap fragmentation. Actually, the same scenario holds good for pinned object. Once an object has been pinned, the object will stay at its fixed memory location. The scenario is more serious here in the case of SOH because pinning can cause SOH heap fragmentation. We know that generational heaps will compact after the GC. Pinning will obstruct this compactment. Let's see a pictorial representation. This is Gen 0 before GC and object 3 is been pinned. Consider GC happened. It picks 1, 2, 4, 5 object but it cannot pick the third object because it is pinned. Since it is been pinned, GC cannot come back beyond this point so that it is not able to collect these free regions. So heap fragmentation is happening on generation 0. Now, let's think about how to avoid the fragmentation chances due to object pinning. The remedy is, the programmer should unpin the object once its pinning usage has been completed, so that the next GC can pick them. Now, let's look into a related code snippet. After that, we will do a live debugging session to show the fragmentation chances occurring using object pinning. This snippet we have discussed in our previous session. A pet dog object has been created and it has been associated with a pinned handle. So once this pet dog usage has been over, the programmer should be cautious to delete this particular GC handle so that the next GC can pick this dog object. Let's do a small debugging demo to show fragmentation occurring on .NET application due to pinning of objects. Opening my test application, which has a demo to show pinning issues. Once I click this particular button, 10 white lines and 10 black lines will be created on the heap one after the other. The black lines are pinned objects. Let's apply the button. 10 black lines, each with 80,000 bytes and white lines with 70,000 bytes are created on the heap. First, go to this application heap and observe. I am opening a Win32 debugger. If you have got a dump from us, you can open this dump, but now I am doing a live debugger. Connecting my test application. Application is being connected with the debugger. The first thing, now I have to load a DLL. SOS. This we have explained many times, but SOS DLL contains .NET debugging commands, so it is a preliminary step to load this DLL for debugging a .NET application in WinDBG. DLL loaded. Now, we wanted to inspect our heap object from this particular heap. For that, I am using a command. This command will print all the heap object with size more than 10,000 byte, our black and white lines having the size 80,000 and 70,000 respectively, so they will definitely print. Yes, in a real-time application, there may be many object with this criteria, but this is our test application, so we can readily see our white lines. This is black line, 80,000 byte, followed by a white line. So, the, these objects are placed one after the other on the heap. 
Actually, this is a before GC condition. A garbage collector has not entered to this generation heap. We wanted to see what will happen when a GC comes to this heap. Let's go to the application. But before that, we will inspect what is the size of this heap, right? That is also we will do that. Heap stat. What is the size of the Gen 0 heap? This much. Because we have 20 large object in this Gen 0 heap. I mean, not large as large object criteria, but still large, right? So, this is this much size. We have learned once a garbage collection happen, Gen 0 will shrink or compact the heap. Let's see whether this will, this will compact after the heap. Let's go to the application for mimicking a GC. Here, first I am clearing, I mean unreferring these objects. Then only the GC can collect them, right? Cleared lines. But black lines will be existing because they were pinned objects. Okay? So, now I will force a GC. Then unreferred object will be picked. This kind of thing is not recommended in application. But for our demo, I want to force a GC. So, I am doing that. So, since GC has happened, something would have been happened on the heap. Let's observe that again. Debug break. Doing the same command. Dumb heap. We wanted to see whether the objects are picked. Yes. GC could pick all the white lines. The black lines are still existing because they were pinned handles. But the most important thing what we are observing here that even though the white lines got picked, they become free spaces. This is nothing but fragmentation. So fragmentation are, is occurring on the Gen 0 heap. Right? Now let's see what is the size of this particular heap. Heap stat. Gen 0 heap is this much. Yeah, it has been able to shrink something. 21 lakhs something but it became 18 but not compacted much this is because the GC couldn't compact the Gen 0 heap beyond this point because this is a pinned object which is restricting GC to compact further so that's why all this heap I mean free spaces are existing right now let's release this particular pinned handles then observe what would be the Gen 0 size for that, I have to do again go back to the application. I am clearing the lines with free handles. I mean, I am doing a handle free, GC handle free here in this code. Now, I am forcing a GC again. According to us, even the pinned handles will get deleted because we have already freed their handles, then did a GC. Let's observe connect back again. Now let's do a dumb heap. No object with criteria of 10,000. That means all the black lines which were unpinned got picked by GC. Since all the pinned objects picked, GC could free all the memory. Not even free spaces now. Right? Now, Let's see what is the size of this particular Gen 0. For that, heap stat. It is shrinked. It is compacted heavily. Before it was this much size. Now it is very minimal. Right? So, GC could compact the heap now. Before, it was unable to compact because of the pinned object presence. But now, GC could compact the heap heavily and release the memory segments. So, this is a heavy achie achievement. Now, you would have got the issues of pinning. If we don't release the pinned handle at our, uh, af after our use, heap fragmentation can occur. Due to this heap fragmentation, memory size, uh, GC cannot release the memory. Right? This is a big issue. So, it is our advice to the uh, programmers that when they do uh, programming with the pinned handles, once the requirement got over, they have to unpin. Then, it will help GC to pick uh, clear 
the objects and release more memory spaces. Hope you have understood this particular video. We request our users to subscribe to our videos. We will come back with more .NET internal videos with practical sessions. Thank you.